So hello, welcome to Book Brag. I'm here with my co-host, Wendy Walker. And today we are delighted to welcome good friend and best-selling author, Kara Ruda, who is the author of The Best Day Ever, The Favorite Daughter, and The Next Wife, which is out today. Welcome, Kara. Thank you, Lynn. So great to be with you guys. I miss you in person. I know. I I know. I know. So Lynn and I have both read the book, but why don't you tell our viewers um, a little bit about it? I know. And as you guys know, with domestic suspense, it's impossible to really say very much without giving anything away. But this story is centered around John and Kate Nelson. They started a business together and it grew to be successful beyond their dreams. They have a child, daughter, Ashlyn, and everything was going fabulously in their perfect lives until John hired a new assistant, Tish. And that's Yeah, that's where everything kind of fell apart. So now Tish is the next wife, the second wife, and we meet them all. The opening is at a party to celebrate the um, event co, the company's going public. And they're all there together, one happy family. Oh, wow. (laughs) Well, I loved it. As Wendy said, we both have read the book. It is deliciously dark and twisty. And, you know, you love to hate the next wife, of course, but you can't stop reading about her. So I really, really enjoyed it. Um, was there anything that sticks out to you in particular that you learned while writing the book? You know, Other was, than to not let your husband hire. Exactly. Yeah. Like my husband and I ran a company <laughs> together, so I was all, all over that. <laughs> but I, I think I learned in this one that both um, Best Day Ever and The Favorite Daughter were all one character, first person narrated. I really like having different points of view. It was fun for me as an author to be able to shift to somebody yeah. else's perspective. And it kind of, to me, it kind of, and I think you got, you do that already, but yeah. it rounded out the whole picture better. So I, I really like that in this book. And I think in the pandemic in general, I've learned that uh, now I need to learn how to outline <laughs> so I can tell people where oh, that's music to Wendy's ears. Oh, oh no. I know. And actually, Wendy <laughs> shared with me one of her outlines. And I, you know, it, when I say my outline is nothing like her outline, it's nothing like her outline. But for my next book, my agents are like, let's just give this a shot. Shall we? So I did. And it really helped just having the beats down and just a general sense of showing them where I was going and also knowing myself. So that's something I learned. So we call it book brag because we like the authors to brag about their book a little bit. And so would you read us your favorite review, either reader review or pub, uh, trade review? Yeah, sure. You know, I, I guess I have to say that my favorite review is one of the first ones that came in from a trade publication because that's always so nerve wracking. So Kirkus came in first, which, you know, you're like, ah, it's okay. but mm-hmm. I love this one. It says uh, Ruta hits the ground running and never stops. The next wife is so much fun that you'll be sorry to see it end with the final pair of zingers, the guiltiest of guilty pleasures. And I love that because, I mean, sometimes I think people try to take these books a little too seriously. And when we have unreliable narrators, of course, you're not going to like them because they're trying to fool you. So when you read a review that's uh, about that, it kind of goes, you know, they didn't understand what we're trying to do here. But when people get it, it's so fun. Yeah, I would agree. What is one thing that you hope readers will take away from this book? I hope they laugh. I like, I hope that they find the dark humor in it, even though it's kind of scary. It's, uh, it's meant to also, I don't know, like make you chuckle a little bit too. So hopefully that works. All right. Now it's time for the lightning round. So we are going to get a little bit more personal so readers can get to know you. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm an introvert who pretends to be an extrovert on occasion. Favorite adult beverage? Oh, gosh, uh, Chardonnay. <laughs> For sure. Where uh, is your favorite place to write? Oh, my office. I love it now. I have a view of the ocean and, oops, my office. <laughs> One word. <laughs> oh, how nice. Uh, biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't really have a lot of pet peeves, but oh, really loudness while I'm trying to write. I'm not good. I get distracted really easily. So any kind of noise. Do you have a favorite word? Ah, favorite word. Yes. But you can't tell us. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yes. That's the word. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Currently binge watching. Oh, we're rewatching Schitt's Creek so much fun that's a good one is there a book that you love so much you wish you'd written it 
The Great Gatsby. Okay. Who is your celebrity crush? I, you know, um, that one's so hard because I, when you say that, all these people's faces go through my head. But I would say right now, Dolly Parton. She's super empowering, you guys. She's had an amazing career. And yeah. the more you get to know about her backstory and her life story, you just can't help but love her. She, I love her. So you've had a lot of different careers in your life, but if you had to do something other than writing, would you go back to one of those or do something else? I would probably, I, I would still be writing either in the journalism field. I love magazine writing or I love marketing too. So probably something in marketing, which I feel like we have to do with this job too. So anyway, they all kind of go together. Something involving writing for sure. Okay. Has there been any kind of silver lining for you during this past year of quarantining? Yeah, you know, what was amazing was having the family reconstituted for a period of time, right? When it first started when we didn't know what was going to happen. And it was like little house on the prairie and hunkering down. (laughs) They all came home and I mean, it was really fun being together again because I I don't know that we'll ever have that chance again. Everybody's in their 20s and nobody's married yet. So it was kind of like, you know, the OG coming together and washing vegetables and, you know, all that that we all did. (laughs) That's so nice. I love that. I had that. I had that here and you did as well, Lynn, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was was really nice. Okay, everybody. So this is a wrap. Thank you so much for being with us. The Next Wife is out today. Everyone needs to go out and get it right now. And Kara, um, tell everyone where they can connect with you on social media and your website. Sure. You can find me at Kara Ruda on most places, and it's hard to spell. So it's K-A-I-R-A-R-O-U-D-A, lots of vowels. And I'm also on my own website, of course, same spelling. You will find me there. And thank you so much, you guys. Oh, it's great. Great catching up. Yeah. Yeah. See everybody next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.